This is David Goldman, Asia Times Deputy Editor, speaking to you from New York City the evening of July 29th. Well, on a gross domestic product basis, prices are rising at a 6% annual rate, the Bureau of Economic Analysis reported this morning. That's the worst since 1981, at the tail end of the great inflation of the Jimmy Carter era, and way out of range of anything we've seen for quite some time. That should have caused wailing and gnashing of teeth, Uh, but stock prices rose. They're trading a hair's breadth away from their all-time record, and the reason, as we've emphasized in the past, is that the market has learned one big thing in the past 10 years, Do not fight the Federal Reserve. And if you look at the chart of the day, you'll see that the so-called real interest rate in Treasury securities has been falling close to its all-time low as the Federal Reserve buys more inflation-protected securities. We're talking about so-called TIPS, Treasury Inflation-Protected Securities, which pay a coupon plus the inflation rate. And the coupon they pay is now negative 1.2% over a 10-year note. That means that if you lend the U.S. government money for 10 years, you can expect to lose 1.2% each year for the next 10 years. You're paying the government for the privilege of letting it hold your money. No surprise that the Biden budget expects to run massive deficits for the next 10 years because they project negative real yields going on forever. Of course, if people pay you to hold their money, the bigger the deficit you run, the more money you save as the federal government. It's a great deal for the federal government. It's a lousy deal for everybody else. And of course, if safe investments offer a negative rate of return, That forces people who want a positive return into riskier and riskier investments, such as the S&P 500 at 30 times earnings. Now, the dirty little secret here is that there are only about $550 billion worth of these Treasury Inflation Protected Securities outstanding, and the Federal Reserve now owns $300 billion of them. They own the majority of the total float. So, of course, that manipulates the market. Now, what can't go on forever won't, as the late Herbert Stein is often quoted as saying. If you throw massive amounts of demand at an economy through deficit spending, what you're going to get is inflation. That's happened in every period of history and in every country where you've had this kind of massive monetary expansion and budget deficits. Now, predicting when this is going to blow up is like predicting when an embolism will kill a patient with advanced cardiovascular disease. I don't know when that will happen. No one else does. But I'm very afraid of the S&P 500 or 30 times earnings. You should be very afraid, too. This is David Goldman, Asia Times Deputy Editor, speaking to you from New York.